That alien is unusually human in its appearance. They could be using it as an infiltration unit of some kind. I'd recommend capturing it for further analysis. to start keeping score.
Enemy spotted. Help me! Over here! So many of them. They're everywhere. We have to get out of here. Commander, we should get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger as soon as possible. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't shown up. Wave of X-rays closing on your location. Eyes up. Damn it! Damn it. Enemy, Enemy is still, is still alive. alive. So many bodies in there. I just don't understand it.
Thank God you found me. I would have ended it just like all the others. Enemy forces headed your way, Strike One. Get ready. to the numbers, strike one. Get back here on the double. Council has donated a satellite. Our current satellite uplink facility can support up to two satellites, so I recommend we launch the new one immediately.
With this additional satellite in place, we've gained a significant upgrade to our overall coverage. I recommend we begin scanning for alien contacts right away. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I can construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. Commander, based on Dr. Valen's report, I recommend we begin researching the new weapon she's calling the Arc Thrower in the labs. Once completed, we can send the plans down to engineering for fabrication, and then equip one of our troops with it in the barracks. Dr. Shen and the engineering team are also waiting on approval for construction of the containment facility that we'll need in order to house the alien captive. Commander to engineering. Commander to engineering. Commander, no doubt you are aware of Dr. Valen's request to capture one of the aliens. A sound plan, but she fails to realize that we lack a facility to safely contain a live specimen. With your approval, my team and I will begin construction of a suitable facility. Thank you, Commander. I'll let you know when the facility is ready. Dr. Valen has asked to see you, Commander. No doubt she wishes to explain her plan personally. Commander to the research lab. Commander to the research Commander, I'm sure you've been briefed on my request. With your authorization, we can begin research on the Arc Thrower immediately. Commander to Mission Control. Commander to Mission Control. Commander, we're picking up widespread radio chatter indicating UFO sightings within our current satellite coverage area. We should begin scanning for contacts as soon as possible. Looks like that satellite we launched paid off. We're picking up an unidentified fast mover. If we scramble an interceptor now, we may be able to take it down. We have eyes on the bandit. Central, this 
This is Voodoo 37. We have a confirmed kill on Bogey 001. I repeat, the UFO is down. I'll copy, over. Solid copy, Voodoo 37. Nice work. Central out. All right, people. Retask Recon Satellite Bravo and get me a visual on that crash site. She's coming into range now, sir. On screen. Magnify. Still in one piece. Commander, I recommend we get a strike team to the crash site immediately. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight, and the last one's out. Setting down. Our target site is near the German border. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike One is authorized to assault the alien craft. Looks like the crash site is dead ahead. We should expect heavy resistance here. There's no telling how many hostiles were on board. Approach the craft with caution and attempt a breach if possible.
Incoming fire! Damn it, the enemy is still alive. Firing position. The alien craft is still intact. They've got some kind of energy field protecting parts of the ship. We'll have to look for an opening. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. Our readings can't be right. If they were, that's a being of almost pure energy. The readings coming from that creature are like nothing I've ever seen. That looks like the primary power source for the alien craft. I could only hazard a guess as to the amount of power it would have to be generating to propel that ship. I'd watch your fire down there. That equipment could be highly unstable. You can study it when it's dead, Doctor. Let's take that thing down. Incredible. It seems to have vanished.
target acquired. accomplished. Welcome back, Commander. I wanted to speak to you about our current fleet of interceptors. It's crucial that we keep several of these aircraft on high alert. We'll need them to intercept any future alien contacts, and it's likely we'll suffer some losses in the process. I think it's also worth mentioning that even a full squadron of interceptors will do no good against our enemy if we don't know where they are. Additional satellite coverage will be required before we are able to detect alien craft elsewhere on the planet. Visit us in engineering should you wish to build additional satellites. Goodbye, Commander. Current satellite uplink facilities are at full capacity. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. We've still got some room to grow up here, but if we really want to expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, 
for more it's going to cost. Thank you. 